All right, man, Hebron Ben Bilal, come back at you with another edition of this Boomer's Logic. So, I, I, I spoke about the whole guitar thing. I, I, I said it, but y'all need to stop playing, going to these other countries and playing. So, we got this dude here. I'm going to let y'all listen to him, and then I'm going to give you my two cents on it. Uh, but before I do, man, Hebron Ben Bilal, come back at you with another edition of, of this Boomer's Logic. If you haven't already, go to the channel, Boomer's Logic, like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, blah, 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 blah. You know what to do. All right. So, without further ado, I'm going to let you hear what he's getting ready to say. Then I'm going to explain the whole situation and give you my two cents on it. Washington, I am Grant Wall's brother. I'm gay. And the reason he wore the rainbow shirt to the World Cup my brother was healthy. He told me he received death threats. I do not believe my brother just died. I believe he was killed. And I just begged for him. I so he's begging for help. Okay, so here's the deal. This cat here, let's let you see the story. It says sports journalist. Grant Walsh, who was detained at World Cup for wearing rainbow shirt, dies in Qatar. Okay. First off, let me say this. I, I, you, you want help for what? Who you want help for? This is, this is, and, and this is what gets, listen, this is what raises my, my ire. This is what pisses me off, man. Y'all go and you do see this what I talked about when I when when I talked about the dude doing the whole Jesus thing. Y'all look for ways to offend people. You go out of your way to offend people. This clown here that's on the screen, he's dead. He went over there knowing that these people do not have zero tolerance for this homosexual stuff, man. But he goes over there. Because he wants to make a statement. He wants to represent his brother over there. Okay, well, why you can't just wear a, a, a shirt with your brother's picture on the front? You go over there. What you wanted to do once again. And it, it, let, listen, let me explain something. You SJW types, y'all wake up trying to figure out ways how to offend people. This dude knew. This, this cat right here, the dead one. He knew going in. That these people did not tolerate this. So first he wears the... The gay pride shirt, right? And and he's a journalist, so he's trying to go into the games, right, to report on the soccer. They stop him and tell him, nah, you can't come in here like this. So it, this is what he was doing. He was making a video at the time about the him them stopping him from coming into the event. Because you can't wear this shirt. But you wanna you you wanna make a video about it as if somebody gonna swoop in and make them make you make them let you in. It don't work that way. You made some video as if it, it was, you know what I'm saying? Now you're dead. Now they don't know if they if he killed him or he ended up sick. But they detained him. You know what I'm saying? They they hey look, come on. Let's go. So they detained him. I guess he had to change the shirt or whatever. But now you got people reporting on this as if it's some type of outrage. No, here's the outrage that y'all will just forever. Try to offend people. This is what you did. And then you got your brother on here with his gay behind, with this fake cry, talking about help you. Help what? What you do? Oh, the, the president going to make Qatar and them figure out what happened to you? But nah, that dog don't hunt. They don't care nothing about all that. These are the rules down there. And you're violating the rules. You go and you violate the rules and then you want some type of assistance when something happens. This is this is what I was telling you about. This is exactly what I was telling you about. Look at the look at the headline. This is what I was telling you about. You can't just go bouncing around doing what the hell you want when you want how you want. It don't work like that in other countries. And with that, I'm gonna shift gears and talk about this uh that uh the girl that just got out of prison down there in Russia, Brittany Griner, whatever her name is. So 
I wasn't even going to speak on her, right? I wasn't even going to speak on it. But then I found out something yesterday. And I said, man, are you serious? So what happened with this whole um, swap thing is you had the United States wanting a two for one, right? For the guy that they that Russia wanted because the guy was some huge uh, arms dealer, right? Somebody made a joke about him and said that he was the uh, Russian equivalent of John Wick. I don't know if it's true or not, but they said he was a horrible, horrible person. Said he is. He said he's a real horrible person. He's rough. He's he's they call him the merchant of death. And um, Russia went in him back. You know what I'm saying? Because he gets out there and get that bread. So you know, okay, you want you want uh, Brittany? Let's get him. So that uh, so America asked for two. Now the second person I found incredibly interesting. This second person was a Marine. A Marine. Yeah. So they wanted Brittany and this Marine that this Marine that actually got locked up down there for nothing. Nothing at all. They detained him and they still got him. He didn't do anything. He went down there to a wedding, at, to his friend's wedding. They locked him up. He wasn't drinking and driving. He wasn't doing drugs. He didn't have drugs on him. Nothing. They locked him up and they just holding him. Now, see, that's illegal detainment. Not this whole Brittany Griner thing. Now, here's what I find interesting. When Russia said, no, you only get one for one. Which one do you want? They chose Brittany Griner over this Marine. I could not believe that. And that's the only reason I'm talking about it. I said, man, I cannot believe y'all did that, man. I said, wow, this is insane, man. This is insanity. This is a person who fights for your country. <laughs> this is the person who literally fights for your country. He signed up to fight for your country, to die on the behalf of your country. Literally, this is what he did. And you abandoned him there. To bring this lesbian home. I, I could, listen, when I say I could not believe, I said I wasn't even going to speak on it until this this guy here, he did, he actually, he's ex, he's ex-Marine or ex-military and he told the story, um, showed you the uh, Marine and everything. And I could not believe, I said, man, this has got to be the most stupidest country, man. I mean, you go and uh, just to appease the SJWs, you go and abandon one of your own. This is, I mean, this is this is crazy. It's crazy to me that you went and got her and left him there. And he didn't do a thing. And this is what's even worse. He did nothing. She did something. This is a person who fights for your fights for your uh, uh country where she does nothing but play basketball and smoke weed. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Man. But anyway, man, I just wanted to make this video about this this guy here, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, because man, you 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 hey, you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. I don't have any sympathy for the family. I don't I don't feel any pity for him, the family. You get on there crying, the, the gay brother crying, talking about can somebody help? Help what? Help what? You went down there, you violated, and you died, man. These these people don't play. See, y'all playing games. These people don't play. Anyway, man, I just want to drop this on y'all, man, this morning. Love y'all. See y'all on the next one.